Recently, Tom Bilyeu talked to Matthew Walker, PhD, a sleep specialist from the University of California, Berkeley. In this clip, Matthew Walker talks about the side effects that surround sleep deprivation. Now, there's a link in the description below to the full interview, and I urge you to watch it in its entirety. Sleep is so important that the Guinness Book of World Records will not let people try to set records for sleep deprivation. Walk us through why not. I think this is a great entry to your world. Yes, so what we know is that a lack of sleep um, will impact just about every major physiological system in your body and almost every operation of your mind. For example, if I were to take you and limit you to just four hours of sleep for one single night, there is almost a 70% drop in what we call natural killer cell activity, which are critical anti-cancer fighting immune cells. That's after one night of four hours of sleep. That's crazy. Secondly, if I were to short sleep you for just one week, your levels of testosterone would be that of someone 10 years your senior. Define short sleep. What, how many hours are so we talking? here we could be talking about four to five hours a night for four or five nights in a row okay. which if you look at the data on the survey that's not unusual for perhaps even 20 to 30 percent of the population certainly during the week um, we also know from daylight savings time that it doesn't take very much because there is a global experiment that's performed on about 1.6 billion people across 70 countries twice a year and it's called daylight savings time now, in the spring, when we lose one hour of sleep, we see a 24% increase in heart attacks the following day. That Yet so in the crazy. autumn, in the fall, we see a 21% decrease in heart attacks. Now, you collide all of that information together, as well as the impact on the brain, the mental health issues regarding anxiety, suicidality, depression, as well as increased risk for Alzheimer's disease. And we've been uh, seeing that as well. Um, all of these things created this perfect storm for Guinness to take a step back. They used to recognize world record breaking attempts. And to put this in context, you know, several years ago, a remarkable individual, I think his name was Felix Baumgartner, an Austrian um, with Red Bull, he went up in a space capsule. He went to the outer edges of our atmosphere, of our planet. He opened the door. And then in a spacesuit, he jumped out, he hurtled back down to Earth at over a thousand kilometers per hour. He broke the sound barrier with his body. <laughs> and Guinness says, that's just fine. However, sleep deprivation attempts no longer because they are that much more concerning to your mental, your physical, and your cognitive health. That is the perfect explanation like that dichotomy of Felix Baumgartner versus just not getting enough sleep.